Hello, Tech Sanders with the Light Zone Project. And in this video, I'm going to be talking about why you would use a relight tool in the first place when you've already got a perfectly good zone mapper tool. And the two tools seem to do some of the same things. Well, they do. But there are times when the relight tool is a real lifesaver. Now, in this image that we've been looking at, we've got a raw adjustment tool that we can use. And I can move that slider up, and I think you can see that that makes some great adjustments in this image. I'll roll that back down. We got a relight tool that we've been playing with. And if I activate it, it's unactive now. That does a great job bringing up this image. Add some contrast here because the detail slider does that. Um, some local contrast that gives you a sense of sharpening. And of course, you can play around with the sky and make that a little bit darker, which tends to make some of the other shadows in the image darker. But we can also lighten up some of the highlights to increase. So we, we've got a lot of flexibility. Uh, and obviously, we can use the detail slider to start punching up, as I said, kind of pre-sharpen the image. And it's a nice, nice result. But in an image like this one, where the light is relatively controlled and you don't know, have huge jumps in dynamic range, it's possible that a zone mapper tool, which I've already deployed and worked on a little bit, and with just four of these sliders plus a blending mode, I can pull that up. And that actually does a nice job with the image. And I can continue playing around in here. Um, I could use another blend mode, uh, etc., uh, to create a very nice effect in this image. It's possible that I even prefer this somewhat softer look of the Zone Mapper tool to the more contrasty and slightly harsher look of the Relight tool. So that's something that you have to decide for yourself which tool is most appropriate. And in fact, you can use them in concert with one another. But there are instances where the Relight tool is the go-to tool for editing your images in LightZone. And I'm pulling up a new image. I've hit the file menu up here, brought up a new window, already got this prepared. I'm going to bring this image up. You're going to say, Tex, why are you using this particular image? Um, it's too dark. You've got other selections there. You could easily use those. Well, when this image loads, and it is a raw image, so it takes a few seconds, um, I think you'll see that I don't have much choice if I'm going to preserve the highlights up in the sky. So as this comes up, I'm going to switch to my histogram preview pane. So here we have that image. It's even darker than it was in the browser. Remember that your browser uses the embedded thumbnails, particularly with raw images, to uh, show a preview image in the browser. And a lot of times, your, your raw image is going to look very different. And in this case, it's quite a bit darker. Well, look at our histogram. Yeah, all these darks crammed over here on the left-hand side. But look at the other end. Already going into this top zone, I don't have a lot of room for maneuver. This is one of those nightmare situations. And if I go around and, and start looking up here, I'm already up in the 200s in this highlight area up here. So if I'm to lighten this up, you know, if I use the raw adjustments tool to lighten this up and start pulling this up gradually, I've got to pull it up, pull it up, pull it up. To get that tree kind of where I want it and some of these darker trees, these conifers over here, well, the sky, these clouds are blown. They're, they're gone. So now what? Well, this is the perfect spot for a relay tool. We don't always, we are not always able to shoot in ideal conditions. Obviously, we like to shoot in nice light, but there's 24 hours a day. And some days, you have to shoot in the middle of the day, and it is screaming bright and contrasty. 
So I'm going to pull this back down and get it back to zero. I'm going to bring out a relight tool. And look at that. Already, I think you can see that we're lifting the shadows, but not at the expense of the highlights. And in fact, I can go further with that. In this case, I could pull these shadows up quite a bit. And I can even push the highlights just a little bit like that. And that brightens up this image. And if I use the sampler tool, I haven't really moved these top highlights at all. Using a zone mapper tool to do this would be very difficult. It is not the best tool adapted to this kind of a situation. The relight tool, as I think you can see, is amazing for an image like this. Just look at that. All that information, it was there, and we can bring it up. Now, if we look at this microscopically, we might find, well, some of that may be blocked up. But this image is salvageable using just one relight tool. So I think you can see there are times when a zone mapper is just as good as a relight tool, but there are times when the relight tool there's the original, there's the relight tool, can just save your bacon.